647, our smart start begins with breaking news. Multiple suspects are in custody this morning after a police chase and a crash here in the city. The arrests were made on Genesee Street last night. We now find Iran Spitzer live from the public safety building with the latest details. Iran. Yeah, guys, this started after 930 when police say they spotted a car wanted for a for its involvement in a recent shooting. Now, when police tried to stop the driver on East Main Street, they would refused to pull over, they say, which is when the chase began. This lasted around four minutes until police say the suspects crashed into a building at the intersection of Genesee Street and Brooks Avenue. Multiple police cars rushed to the scene. Three suspects have been arrested. No injuries reported. Now, now we did ask RPD, but because this is an active investigation, details as to which recent shooting these suspects may have been involved in has not been released just yet. For now, guys, reporting from Rochester, Oran Spitzer, News 8. Oran, thank you. As soon as we do get some more updates or confirmation on any link between recent cases, we'll share that with you on air, News 8 at noon, and online this morning at rochesterfirst.com. Some more breaking updates just in from the Monroe County Sheriff's Office. Deputies are searching for this missing girl, Riley Colon, last seen leaving her home last night around 7 in Parma. That was around Hinkleyville and West Ridge Roads. She was wearing a pink hoodie, blue jeans, purple Crocs. Again, there's her photo. If you know where she might be, please call 911. Well, we are learning more about the murder investigation we've closely followed out of Honeyoy Falls. This is the case of this missing woman later found dead. Her sister is charged with murder. Court documents obtained by News 8 this week say back on the night of October 8th at a home in Honeyoy Falls, 53-year-old Jamie Bush strangled her sister, 62-year-old Penny Bush, to death. The next morning, deputies say the suspect took the victim's three phones and tried to hide them by putting them in the garbage at a Duncan. They say Jamie then dumped her sister's body in the Genesee River. The body was not found until October 14th and Friday afternoon the sheriff's office announced the murder arrest. And a Leroy man has been sentenced on a new child porn charge. 37-year-old Jordan Brody, already convicted once before of possession of child pornography back in 2021. The U.S. Attorney's Office says that in May of last year, Brody was under active supervision by the Genesee County Probation Department. During that time, officials say that he became involved in a trade for child pornography on a chat application. Brody uploaded at least one of those images to a different platform. That one then reported the image to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. An investigation by New York State Police revealed that uh, the upload took place from Brody's home in Leroy, so with a search warrant, investigators seized Brody's phone and the contents of the social media account that uploaded the image. They found multiple images of children younger than 12, some of which included violent acts against the children depicted. He was sentenced to serve 10 years in prison. Happening today, the driver charged in a recent deadly hit and run in Rochester from earlier this month is set to appear in court again. 21-year-old Vincent Moore Jr. previously pled not guilty to leaving the scene of a deadly accident as well as aggravated unlicensed operator. This happened October 2nd when police rushed to Lyle Avenue and Broad Street for a man hit by a car. The victim, 37-year-old Hanif Moffitt, died on scene. Police say Moore did call 911 but left the area and drove to his home on Alphonse Street. Court documents say Moore had his license pulled earlier this year due to a previous violation related to DWAI. RPD says Moore did cooperate with this investigation and turned himself in last week. He's due in court at 2 o'clock for that hearing. Our sunrise traffic alert still got our issue on the northeast side. So 104 westbound getting off of 590 just as you're crossing the Bay Bridge. An accident with first responders on scene. We will keep an eye on that. Elsewhere on the west side, 390 north and southbound between Gates and Greece. You are good to go. your local election headquarters and we are now exactly two weeks away from election day. Both candidates, Vice President Kamala Harris, former President Trump have more stops in key battleground states with the polling showing a very tight race still in this final stretch. Harris enlisted the help of former Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney as she made her appeal in three states Monday. I do believe Donald Trump to be an unserious man. But the consequences of him ever being in the White House again are brutally serious. Meantime, the former president repeated false claims about FEMA disaster relief funding after visiting Asheville, a community devastated during Hurricane Helene. They spent their money on illegal migrants. They didn't have any money left for North Carolina. 
Today, Trump will try to court Latino voters in Florida before going back to North Carolina for another rally. Harris is off the campaign trail officially today, but her media blitz continues. As the presidential candidates crisscross the country vying for votes, there are several key dates here in New York that are fast approaching. This coming Saturday is the last day you have to register to vote, and it's also the last day for the elections office to receive your absentee ballot requests. Saturday also marks the first day early voting will start. That runs every day through Sunday, November 3rd. If you prefer to be a traditional voter, you want to head to the polls in person on Election Day. That is Tuesday, November 5th. Election officials advise you make sure your polling site has not changed. So if you want to be sure, you can email mcboe at monroecounty.gov for more details. You can also visit the website elections.ny.gov. We have that at the bottom of your screen there. Get all the information you need about voting early and on Election Day in your county. This week, News 8 is hosting two congressional debates, the only ones you'll see televised for these seats. As we have for years, partnering up with the League of Women Voters to present debates in the 24th and 25th congressional districts. First one tomorrow night at 7, Congressman Joe Morelli in the race for the 25th, trying to hold on to that against the challenger business leader Greg Sadwick. And then the next night, Thursday at 7 as well, the race for the 24th seat, Congresswoman Claudia Tinney, the incumbent, facing off against her challenger David Wagenhauser. Join us for those exclusive matchups here at our studios, right here at News 8, your local election headquarters. Rock Your Job is expanding thanks to a major boost in some finances. Nearly $4 million awarded to the year-long after-school employment program that provides opportunities for at-risk kids by giving them a job. Since launching in January, 311 have found work. That exceeds the original goal of 260 students, and now they want to go even higher, trying to connect another 340. I do plan to go to college for anything regarding theater, drama, and music, so this just furthered my idea that I really do love doing theater and acting in front of the camera and being paid for it, like, that's great too. Um, but it gave me the real world experience of doing that. The program opened to students 14 to 20 from low-income households and communities affected by crime. 40 different employers from retail to nonprofits and government have signed up to offer jobs. Get paid. Yeah. What you good I at. I like yeah. that. I actually heard some good advice about that recently, too. Find out what you love and then never do it for free. Exactly. Nice. Uh, construction still going on. Boy. Mm, right? Yes. That's, that's a big not? one. I've seen yeah. kids riding bikes carrying rakes on their shoulder up and down. <laughs> really? the, uh, nice. Yeah, in the neighborhood. Yeah. That's kind of cute. Yeah. Trying to flag them down. Today, I, right here. I saw a kid walking down the road with a lawnmower, probably just like trying to find anybody who go. wants their yeah. grass cut. There you go. Right, to chop up the leaves now. There you go, well little entrepreneurs. See them go. The wind is going to pick up with that late front Wednesday, uh, so I think that's going to bring some leaves down, but let's take advantage of a record high today. We will see. CBS Mornings coming your way next. Have a great day. Follow News 8 wherever you are on RochesterFirst.com, Facebook, X, and on our app for news and weather.